Hello everyone, it's April 6, 2021, and the start of April is actually very bullish for the entire U.S. markets. So far, even if the Philippines is actually under enhanced community quarantine, we do see some bargain hunting happening in the markets. So let's see. The Philippine market today is up 95 points, 1.46% up. We are seeing that the market is unwilling to sell the market downwards, and we are seeing that the market, no matter how weak the market value turnover is, we are seeing that buyers continue to actually buy the market with bargain hunting. Foreign net selling is down 550 million. Today, we have 159 advancers and 61 decliners. Perhaps this is a correlation because the U.S. markets are actually at all-time high galore. So the Philippine market is actually one of the most um, weakest in the world in terms of uh, handling COVID cases, as well as how to reopen. So well, we won't have to nitty gritty the Philippine markets, but it is very weak compared to the world. So from a market standpoint, where should the money be? Well, if you like leaders in all-time highs, you'd definitely be in the world, global. Um, of course, some people also did some cryptocurrencies, which are already 10x, some of them 20x, 30x in just a single year, some even just less than a year. So we'll see what happened to Philippine markets. You've got Ayala Corp 790. It seems as if the Philippine markets love to buy Ayala Corp. URC is now trading at 141. ICT is 128. SM Prime 35. JG Summit 60 bucks. SM 992. Jollibee 185. AEV 36.1. LDG 13.9. AGI 1128. Security Bank 123. Ayala Land 34.6. BDO 101.8. Mega World 365. Avoid is Power 24, GT Capital 537, MPI 392, Meralco 276, Emperador 1038, San Miguel Corporation 117.5, Robinson's Land 18.48, BPI 83, Globe 1843, FGEN 30 bucks. RHI 55.6, DMCI 560, Bloomberry 7, Metro Bank 44.7, Pure Gold back at 37.65, PLDT 12.45. So it can be seen that the market is actually in a risk on mode. You could see that the risk of items like risk adverse place, like your pure golds, your PLDT is actually falling southward, which tells you that the market is actually in a risk on mode despite just 5 billion pesos being traded at. So let's take a look at the stats as well. How are the top gainers today? How What's the most top traded? Top traded, your Dito Telcom goes up in fierce mode, 8% up from 10 bucks to 11. So you're seeing that some risk appetite is happening again in the markets. Your Dito Asen, where you're perennial strongest movers in 2020 and we are seeing a strong movement 2021 even in the same companies so your dito and asset is trying to catch up and actually trying to lead the markets upward urc is 141 primarily a consumer staple which might actually be a surprise for most people why would urc which is just a consumer staple be seen as a resilient company so most likely you are seeing that some people in the Philippine market, my price, URC high, perhaps with the upcoming Mondenisin IPO. Now, you're seeing a lot of movement as well on your typical non-index names, your BSC and APL up 5% each, 92 cents to 97 cents, APL 20 cents to 21 cents, your FI is also back in the game, 7% to 12 to 227. So you're seeing that the typical 2020 movements like your DITO, your ASEN, your APL, your BSC, your FA is climbing up yet again. You're seeing Mary Mart also 5 or 6, well, didn't up go 5%, but 550 nonetheless. You are seeing a little bit of movement on your DD REITs from 215 to 228%, 6%, something that might be surprising because the DD REITs are just bonds. Um, Ayala Land is up less than a percent, 34.6. Your land goes down from 290 to 250 after strong movement, which we argued this went from about 50, uh, 80 cents. City line went from 80 cents all the way to about 320 or times four. So um, this is quite typically uh, a drop because of profit taking, a strong movement in the last three days alone. Now you're seeing some buyers continue to buy your non-index names, your Yung Vulcan, your BHI. So you're seeing that markets is coming back and buying all the names that they used to like. So we can just put it again. Let's type it in. So the market is coming back into your likes of Dito, your Asen, your Fa, your, um, what's the names, your BSC, your APL, 
your BHI, your Vulcan, right? So these are the names like ABBA. So these are the names that we have been seeing already getting momentum since last year and continue to be being bought up by the market. So uh, we'll see those charts later on. But you're seeing that it's the same repeat of the stocks last 2020. Uh, and as for your top gainers, your prim goes continue to go up. This one, 260, now hitting three bucks. So we argued that there might be some selling pressure at four bucks, but because the company wants to reinvigorate their shares via perhaps a share sale of their properties, which will give cash dividends, perhaps that's the reason why prime PRIM is going up. Uh, Prim, and then uh, we are see seeing that as well with Primex, right? Prim, Primex, Land. So um, Prime Media, I'm uh, sorry, Prime Media is uh, different, different, not about properties. Prime Media is doing a uh, backdoor. Primex went up, then went down. So this one might also go up, no? Because we are seeing some value trade that's going, picking up. Okay, so let's take a look as well on your stats here. What are the biggest losers for the day? So the biggest losers for the day, your city land, profit-taking, your Primex, profit-taking, right? And then um, your pure gold, which is uh, a risk of kasi going risk on the market. And then some FES going down. But these were names that were going up in the last few days. So um, you're seeing that the market is unwilling to sell the shares at all. Okay, so let's take a look at the charts here. You can see it clearly. Okay, let's take a look. Wait up, ah. Okay, so let's take a look at each chart. Okay, so Dito Telecom has the highest volume on the upside. So 8% Dito Telco, you are seeing value traded is about 550 million pesos with 50 million shares. So it's obvious that the Philippine markets continue to like Dito Telecom. So it's unwilling to get it at 7 or 8. You are seeing a lot of buyers willing to buy even as high as 10 to 11. So this is the first time that we are seeing that uh, that there is some sense of buyer here, buyer pressure here. How high can Dito Telecom go? First resistance is at somewhere here at about 13 and then 14.6. So we are seeing that the market might be liking a trade in the short term. And uh, you are seeing, of course, that there are more buyers uh, that will be willing to buy here about 8 pesos. So um, it didn't touch it. So we are seeing that, wow, the market really likes Dito Telecom. And uh, this is something that is very bullish for the market to see today. Okay, what else are you seeing? Um, so ASEN. ASEN is being picked up by the market. You could see that clear trajectory upwards. So for the last few days, we are seeing that ASEN doesn't want to give a sell-off. After some consolidation, it seems like the market wants to pick up these same names. And will we see uh, ASEN go back to 8 and 9? So first resistance is 8 and 9 first. But uh, you're seeing that, of course, if it breaks above that, go all-time high. So Dito ASEN continues to get a lot of bulls. What else can you see? Your FRA is also getting some bullish action here. So you are seeing that, hey, after this huge consolidation, this drop, the markets are now willing to buy Dito, Asen, FA, right? So you're seeing three bucks all the way to two bucks. Some sense of buyer pressure here, but two to seven. Let's take a look at BSC. Okay, BSC is also getting some loving. So after this huge drop from about two bucks all the way to 70 cents, we are seeing that, well, this is a bullish flag here at about 90 cents and 97. And we should see, although some selling pressure here, about 1 past 30 cents on your BSC, very strong movement on your upside. So Dito, Asen, Fa, BSC are getting some bullish movement here. So a lot of buy action here at 80 cents and 90 cents for your BSC. What else for your APL? Your APL is also getting a bullish movement similar to your BSC, almost the same pattern here. Uh, some resistance here at 30 cents, almost similar chart, don't you see? Uh, it is quite looking the same, kaloka-like, kaloka-like. So 20 cents, you've got a bullish movement here. Kanatsia, ano meron? Oh, sige, okay, okay, okay. Dito daw po, tika lang. Ito, pakis... Wait lang po. Nikiyuba. Pakisagutan daw po ito, tapos pirmahan, 
Okay. Tapos, firma dito. Okay, sige. I will. Alright, iwan mo Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so, um, so you're seeing that BSC and APL kaloka-like siya, no? So, kaloka-like. The chart looks alike, and so it's very clear that there's a 30 cent resistance here. You've got a 80 cents, 18, 19, 20 cents buyer pressure near Apollo Global, and then perhaps a short term resistance as well here, 25 cents. So APL and BSC looks almost the same with these resistances, no? 110, 120, 130, so about 10 to 30 percent higher. You've got resistances. Unlike your ASEN, which looks like parang mas safe play, no? Walang resistance gano. 8 to 9. Parehas din naman. Uh, technically, 10 to 20% higher. No? So, your FA naman, medyo ma ma maganda yung resistance mo. Nasa 280 yung resistance. Re resistance 277 to 320. Your D total com looks the same then. Ito, resistance. Your D to and your FA looks a bit the same. BSC and ATL looks the same. How about BHI? BHI maganda. Halos walang resistance to. Your resistances on BHI is just here at about 12 cents. So still very bullish on your BHI. And then some resistances here, 11 cents then. 11 cents here. Very strong movement. Uh, you're seeing quite the strong bulls on your BHI. Still very strong. No? So um, strong movements on your BHI. Vol, how about it? Vol is still bullish. Uh, strong movements today. After that resistance drop here, no, at four bucks, you're seeing that bumabalik yung bulls from two pesos balik sa two forty. There's some selling pressure here two eighty to two three uh, to three twenty. Pero a lot of bullish action today for the non-index names. How about for ABBA? Bullish then, medyo bullish yung galaw. So we are seeing na for some reason April 6, 2021. We are seeing that the Philippine market is trying to attempt a movement to the upside, perhaps, you know, as a consolation price because the U.S. market is hitting all-time highs galore. Your Nasdaq 100 just broke. Uh, your S&P just broke 4,000. So, um, masyado na ang delayed ang Philippine markets. Masyado na tayong duwag. Wala tayong masyadong bulls in the Philippine markets, which might actually change given the movements of Dito, Ashen, Fa, BSC, APL, DHI, Vol, ABBA. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the questions, if any, comments. Okay, may I ask for the resistance of all HC? Okay, sige, bantayan natin. Is there any news affecting the DD REITs? Um, perhaps may bullish action kasi, so baka they felt Okay naman yung bonds, so bumili sila ng DD REITs. But in general, I don't think that REITs are gonna do 100% move. Uh, may I ask for the resistance of all HC? Let's take a look at all HC. Okay, so Ayala Land Logistics is all HC. Mukha nga na lang to. Uh, okay naman. Wala pa tayong nakikita volume action. There's no volume, but it is in a bullish trend. So bullish trend naman si all HC. Usually for names like these, pag bullish naman yung, uh, yung trend, you just see resistances in these levels. So the past resistance, which is 380, should be our resistance. And then perhaps a short-term resistance as well at 3.5. So meron ka dito mga resistance, 3.5 to 3.8. Pero a lot of bulls are willing to buy. So meron na dito, after a drop, 380 all the way to 290, and dyan na yung bulls. So even at 310 today, may bumibili na yan. So bulls are picking it up. <clears throat> I could see that the Philippine markets are getting a bullish action. So, um, meron na tayong go sign for buy. Our thoughts on Robinson's Retail. I think Robinson's Retail and Pure Gold are considered your risk of names, meaning kapag bearish yung market, they buy Pure Gold, Robinson's Retail, whereas pag bullish yung market, babagsa ka nila yung Robinson's Retail and Pure Gold, dilipat sila sa mga dito, ASEN, FA, BSC, ATL, DHI, VOL, ABA. So, medyo more on the bullish side tayo, so lilipat yung pera. There will be a rotation in the speculative names, in my view. Is JMA7 a buy? Wala masyadong volume, so I don't think um, it's getting any action. Uh, I don't know. Pero parang tulog lang to. Uh, I don't know. May dividends lang to, no? So usually after a dividend, bagsak din. Record date is April 22. After the divs, $1.35 bagsak. one peso thirty five. So usually ganun lang yung dividend movements, eh. Um... So it's likely a dividend play. Range trade for SSI, I bought at 118. Most likely, yes, range trade siya. Hirap pa si SSI. Um, talagang namamatay pa siya dito, no? 
marami pang resistance sa CSSI. After a huge drop, 180 to 120, we do see that the markets have a resistance on every 10% rally. May resistance sa 140, pahirapan sa 160, so maraming nagre-resistance pa. Pero yeah, we think na overall babalik up yan, pero mabagal. So hindi siya kasing lakas ng mga dito telco. How about Macro Asia? So Macro Asia also has resistances at 7, but uh, ito, 6, 7, 8. But it's getting a lot of buyers here at about 460. So um, okay naman. Some people are still willing to buy despite the ECQ. Uh, they like to believe that in the next couple of months or even a year from now, ready to go na lahat ng airlines and therefore ready to go up na si Macro Asia. So I think that if you're bullish on the overall reopening, Maaring maaga ka lang, maaring maaga pa, pero diretso yan upwards, say two years from now, one year from now. Okay, may I ask, where are we gonna see the mining the coming days? Um, In general, I think malakas yung mga steel. Uh, you could see that ArcelorMetal is very strong. I'll show you some steel plays. ArcelorMetal, all-time highs, no? So, pata, patas to, the steel... Uh, and then uh, U.S. Steel, X, no? Palakas yan. United States Steel, kaboom yan. So um, I'd say that the industrial demand are doing well. You can see copper is doing well. Freeport MacMoran, kaboom all-time high yan. Uh, copper, and then um, ano pa bang mga best copper plays? POSCO, POSCO is very strong. PCX yan. PKX for uh, for uh, for Korea. BHP Billiton, malaka yan, uh, all-time high, kaboom. BHP Billiton, kaboom din to. Valero, hindi, pataas pa to. Okay, hintay lang. BHP Billiton had a consolidation, pero all-time high moves tong galaw nito. Valero should be doing well. Rio Tinto should be doing well. Ayan na, kaboom, puro all-time high. Rio Tinto should be doing well. So maybe the question is, Philippines, Nickel Asia, kaboom din ba? The answer is yes. Nickel Asia and FNI should do well. So, um, haba natutulog si FNI, this is a buy point. Yes, kaboom to. You can buy FNI. Uh, nasa na yung ballpen natin? Okay, pasok yan, bili. FNI, and then, ano pa yung mga nickel, NIKL, kaboom. Yan, buy din to. Nickelasia, here about 511. Oops, sorry. Pwede to. You can buy dahil mukhang the console is over, bullish na tayo. Okay, April 6th. Eat all you can buffet. Dito, Asen, Fa, BSC, APL, DHI, VUL, ABA, FNI, Nickel. Buy lang ng buy. B-U-Y. Uh, may I know your thoughts on Union Bank? Banko, parang wala siyang action. I think there's no volume here. Um, I don't know. Parang walang volume. So, baka dun na lang tayo sa mas may value traded. Okay. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to watch my global market updates. Mas malakas ang global. 100% moves happening USA. So go ahead and watch. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And go for our awesome 10x global market updates as well. Bye-bye.